if anything with Marines, we have to slow you down. Okay. Those so words are ironic is, coming from Dr. Bill Krisoff so because he has like done the exact opposite, accelerated his life, left his civilian practice, and petitioned former President Bush for a naval commission, all at 60 years old. Um, but he got in, and, uh, and, and he, he has proven uh, to be an, uh, an unbelievable surgeon. Uh, he's deployed to Iraq, he's deployed to Afghanistan, and, uh, and he took up the family cause, and, and he felt that he wanted to continue the service that, uh, that both of his sons uh, had pursued. Traditions of military service usually pass down from generations, and that's what makes Chrisoff's story so unique. His sons, Nathan and Austin, were commissioned in the Marine Corps at the beginning of Operation Iraqi Freedom. But in 2006, Nathan lost his life in Fallujah. So the doc took his son's call of service from there. He's 60, uh, 64, 65 years old. He's deploying and enduring all the hardships uh, that young Marines are. And, uh, and he's taking great care of our Marines. And on this day in the Pentagon, the Navy gave back to Dr. Krisoff. With his wife and Austin on hand for the honors, he was promoted to commander. Yeah, and I've, I've been inspired by um, my sons and their uh, dedication to equipment to service. So I felt like uh, I've earned, earned this rank and worked hard for it, and, and uh, I'm, I'm delighted to be able to be a 05 in the Navy. Commander Chris Off will now return to the orthopedic department at Camp Pendleton's Naval Hospital to continue to rehabilitate our wounded warriors. From Washington, I'm Sergeant Todd Hunter.